Hello beautiful people and welcome back again to On How channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes and I'm working for you. So now you know. If you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I don't reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to add a link to an image on your Shopify store. And yes, you heard that right. We will add a link to any picture on your Shopify store. And you would use actually a specific section that you can customize and add actually multiple pictures to it. And as well as text, heading, anything you want. And the pictures in precisely, they would have a link on them. So once the customers and can actually click on the picture, and it will take them to a link to, I mean, any link you want. And that wouldn't be a button or anything like that. I said pictures, so the picture will have a link on it. Because I saw some videos, actually misleading videos, that are showing you how to add the link to a picture, but instead, they're showing you how to add the button to the multi-column section. And that section is exactly what we'll use in this video. However, we will not use that button. We will actually customize the script in order to have a link on it on the picture because that multi-column section is actually flexible you can remove the text add the text add the heading anything you want and you can have multiple pictures as i said so the, set, the section would have like three pictures in each picture with a different link for it and again we will do that without using any apps or anything like that we will do that with a code and the code as always will be available in the description box completely free and I do offer you my support as well. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. But before we start, as always, as you can see, the Shopify store right here is the store that I do all the tutorials on. And everything you see in the Shopify right here, I did them in videos. I made over 90 videos only for customizing and editing your Shopify store to make it unique and branded. And I only show the things that you cannot do from the team customizer, I swear. I don't do videos like click on the customizer and add section. That's really below the average information. What I do share in my videos is the things that you cannot do on the team customizer. For example, removing the underline beneath the menu in here. Once you hover over the menu, it does show an underline beneath it. I did make a video on how to remove that as well as the hover color as you can see and the hover effect once you hover over the menu it does show the drop down menu without having to click for it as you can see and a lot more actually the video banner right here as you can see and the transparent header with the video is actually playing underneath the header so obviously let's just close this because the Shopify store has a, an old team we will use instead a new team so I can show you guys it works for every Shopify team and it works for the newer ones as well so let's just close this and they just access the online store from here and here we go we have an updated uh, copy of dawn anyway let's just click on customize right here and show you what i'm talking about and if i scroll down a little bit we will see this section right here which is the multi column one so if i click on it and i click on this column right here this show me an option to set a picture in here so if i did set a picture you just select this one for demonstration and click on done and below it in here there is a link as you can see so i can click on here and go for products and let's just go for this product right here and if i did that it does not mean that the picture will be clickable as you can see i cannot click on the picture however if i set this like a button it will show actually a link in here as you can see so this is based on the button not the picture as you can see so if i click on the save button right here let's just do preview so i can show you what i'm talking about so if I scroll down and here we go so the picture I cannot click on the picture I'm clicking right now in the picture as you can see I cannot access the link I need to click on this button right here that says button I did name it button so I can access the product which is this one right here however as I said we need to set the picture actually not the button so I will show you how to add link to the picture and uh, as I said we will use this because you can actually remove the text as well remove the uh, the heading and you can keep only the picture as you can see that's why it's more flexible. The multi column one is really flexible. You can remove the multi column, as I said in here, or keep only the pictures. So you can have multiple pictures or just one picture. That's why I use this multi column section right here. So let's just reload the page so we can get the re previous version and let's just remove the things that we did add. And we will do the trick and come back in here and see if that will actually add a link to the picture, not to the bottom. So let's just. Uh, remove this one as well as removing the button from here and let's just remove the picture as well we will do that again so let's just click on save and we get back to the previous version the next thing you're going to do or the first thing actually you're going to do is close this because 
this is just for demonstration so I can show you what I'm talking about the next thing or the first thing again you need to do is click on the three dots right here left of customize for the team that you're trying to do the trick on and click on edit code right here and it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team the next thing you're going to do is click on the search bar right here and type in column right here simply type in column it will show you this milchy column right here it says milchy column dot liquid this is the file that we need so simply click on it and it will show you a really big file in here some code in it however the first thing you're going to do is make sure to back up this old code in here because i know youtube the videos sorry on youtube can live forever so if you are watching more than a year or something like that and uh, shopify they did implement a lot of updates sometimes things can break obviously that's the case for everything not just shopify so what i recommend you to do is to take a backup in here so i'm gonna click on command uh, a if i'm you are mac click on command a if you are on uh, windows click on control a it will select the whole code in here and simply right click and copy after we did copy the code in here i'm going to go to the notebook or something like that and pasted somewhere so you can keep a backup for the file so I'm what I'm going to do is use the website that I do share the code in so I'm going to paste it in here so I'm going to take a backup in here instead so I don't lose the previous version I can actually use this rig right here and it will show me the previous versions however uh, sometimes this can break as well so uh, let's just uh, save it in the traditional way so after you did so, after you did check a backup of the whole code, the next thing you're going to do is, as always, scroll down the description box and you will see a link below, name it as code. And simply click on it and it will take you to this link right here. And it will show you some really long code in here and you don't have to pay for it or anything like that. As I said, it's completely free. So obviously, we will replace the whole code in there with this one right here. So select the code, make sure to select from the first line in here. And do not skip on anything and after we did select the whole code in here simply right click and copy after you did copy the whole code which is the, the one in, in the link in the description box below simply get back in here and again if you are on Windows control A if you are on Mac command A and select the whole thing remove and paste in the new code in here after that click on the save button right here and after the changes will save it we will get back to the team customizer and show you the new trick so let's just get back in here and let's just click on customize button so we can go to the team customizer and after that let's just uh, scroll down to the multi column section this one right here and let's just click on this one so we can add a picture to it so let's just select the picture and let's just select the same one for demonstration let's just click on done and in here the link right now will not be actually for the button so let's just click on the link right here and go for products or something like that you can actually select anything you want in this demonstration i'm going i'm going to go for products and let's just go for the same product in here and if i click on the save button right here the picture will actually have a link on it as you can see once i hover over it it does show me a link so i can click on it i will show you that in a moment let's just get back to the preview right here and let's just reload the page this is actually the previous version as you can see it doesn't have a link i can click right now it does not do anything so let's just reload the page and see the first version or the newer one so here we go as you can see once i hover over that it does show a link in here i can click on it so let's just click on see if it will take us to the product page or not let's just click on the picture and here we go it did take us to the product page as you can see and as i mentioned before you can actually remove the heading in here remove the text as well and click on save it will only be a picture as you can see let's just reload the page again and here we go only have a picture and the picture will have a link if i click on it again it will take me to the product that i set the link for and as you saw that's how you add a link to a picture on your shopify store and it works for every shopify team as i said and if you have any questions any video requests make sure to drop them below in a comment or check out my instagram right here below me otherwise i think my job is done for this video so thanks for watching catch you on the next one